Hey guys, and welcome back to. Oh, god damn it! Welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were stuck in uh, Mount Kazai. So, uh, let's actually go back down and to the right way. Yeah. One thing that does slightly annoy is uh, how on rails some of the movement is. It's quite <laughs> frustrating at times. Anyway, let's go. We've got a very annoying boss coming up. Uh, I've got some tips from the game's librarian. So hopefully, uh, we should be in a pretty good position to take him on. Uh, he is an ass, though. Uh, I did a little bit of reading ahead of time. And yeah, I think we're in for a long one with this guy. Now, let's just have a little look. Uh, let's... Make sure everybody is as healed up as they possibly can be. Because this guy sucks. Like, really sucks. So, uh, let's have a look at some items. We do have some Aura of Valors. Which we might actually have to use here. We may have to use them. Anyway, we can actually put down a proper save. So, uh, yes, we're going to do that. I also think... Save under a couple of slots. I also think we missed... A... Oh, God. Um, chest back in the... Oh, this is pretty... In the uh, Japanese city. I'm going to call it Japanese city. It's basically Asian. It's a mix of Japanese and Chinese styles and all that good stuff. Uh, anyway, let's go. Yeah, we got to fight a big turtle. Who has, who has insane defense. Uh, this guy can completely heal himself. And he casts Steel Skin on himself as well. Which makes him impervious to attacks. Yeah, this is a, a brutal boss. I was actually reading my guide earlier. And even in my guide, it says... Basically, yeah, this guy sucks. Um, be prepared for an extremely long fight and get cozy in your chair. So, we're going to pop one of those. Screw it. Um, we are also... What magic do you have? You only have Increm. Okay. Well, I guess we can cast Quicker on everybody. You, you only have Ingram as well, don't you? That's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so I want you to start healing. Is it the healing salve? Yeah, we want to start getting people to regen themselves. Um, yeah, you only have Ingram as well, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, shit, I didn't want to defend. Damn it. That's fine. I'm not sure if casting quicker is actually going to help us, but <laughs> I mean, hey, anything's better than nothing, right? Right. So that's going to max our spirit bar out straight away, which is nice. Let's get some regen on everybody. Yeah, even his standard attack seems to do quite a bit of damage. Okay. So, now we can uh, go for Prophecy, which combines the power of all four party members to call upon an ancient power. Or we can do this, summons all active crew members of the Delphinus crew. Attack varies depending on crew. Yeah, so Prophecy is our ultimate move. It is 
insanity. So we're going to use some prophecy. In dire need. We call for the power of the ancients to battle our foe. This is cool. Hopefully this does a good amount of damage. Cools down like an asteroid on this guy. Whoa, okay. That was satisfying. <sighs> that was very satisfying. Now, what I want. Uh, what I want Vase here to do, actually. Ah, oh, we can't do increments, that's fine. I guess what I want you to do then. Is just go for some Cutlass Fury on him. Do we? Or do we just want to go for a standard attack? Or perhaps... Let's get everybody going with a healing salve. So... We want Fina healing. I want... Ica healing. And Fina actually can pop another Aura of Valor. And you. I want you to go for a healing salve. Who's not going to have a healing salve? I can't remember. I can't remember who I haven't put a healing salve on. So what we'll do instead is use a Glyph of Might on Vase. Let's just get everybody buffed. Let's try this. I can't remember if you can buy those Aura of Valors anywhere. I have a feeling you might be able to. So Vase still needs a uh, regen glyph, that's cool. This should work. If nothing else, uh, it's going to buff us. Okay. Yeah, see that? He just instantly heals all of his damage. It's pretty rough. <laughs> it's really rough. Right, uh, we're going to wait, I think. Let's... Who doesn't have regen? Um... Enrique doesn't have healing. Right, give it to Enrique. And everybody else can Where are you? Glyph of Might on everyone else. So on Ica on Fina on Enrique. Still skin, yeah. This is the trouble. Now, still skin. Uh, before we actually start doing any damage to him, Let's try this. we have to uh, get rid of that um, still skin, which sucks. But Here goes. the one thing with it is our prophecy move. That will actually cut straight through it. Let's try this. But as you can see, it takes a very long time to actually get into a position where you can use prophecy. This should work. Especially if you don't have those Valor items, which we only had two of those. Perhaps we should save them up after we've buffed. Okay, so now we're all completely buffed. We're going to use prophecy. So we're already nine minutes in. We haven't really done anything yet. I don't think really there's anything we can do to stop him from using spells. Because he can't be silenced from what I can understand. Which is really bad, by the way.
Uh, now attack, I suppose might as well just go for Cutlass Fury. And everybody else, standard attack. Guess we don't really have a lot of choice here. Yeah, man, we need to be doing way more damage than that. We really do. That has taken the edge off the damage, luckily. So I guess... In theory... We can cut this fury him every turn. Oh, actually... Maybe, or just maybe, we can do Royal Blade. Not sure which one of these does more damage. Guess we can try Royal Blade. See which one is worth it. Hopefully he's not going to heal himself. If he heals himself here, we're kind of screwed. Let's see what Royal Blade does. Needs to be doing a similar amount of damage for it to be worth it. Preferably more, because it's more expensive to cast. Yeah, it does do more damage. Not a huge amount more, but more is more. Right, if he heals himself now, he's a dick. Okay. Okay, that's acceptable. to use I think that's his most powerful spell that he has he's kind of just doomed himself here so let's just go for a round of standard attacks we got through that really well because he is one of the toughest bosses in the game not because he's that dangerous but because if you get unlucky he will just continuously heal himself yeah, I've heard that that can be a 30-40 minute fight. And we did that in 12 minutes, so... <laughs> I'm reasonably happy with that. Okay, cool. I, I am recording that glorious victory, aren't I? I am. Oh, that guy's rough, man. Moonlight robe. Don't we already have a moonlight robe? Uh... I did think I'd uh, bought the farm, to be honest, when I used our first prophecy early. I thought, oh, we've screwed it, but no, we're okay. Yeah, we don't have any moonberries, do we? Uh, so, let's have a look at this moonlit robe thing. Oh, she's got a long robe. Okay. And so's he. Right, let's have a look at this moonlit robe. Okay, so it's slightly better. So Ica can actually wear it as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's marginally better. Let's see what it does for Ica. No, she doesn't really get much benefit out of it. Not really. Not actually a very good item, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Fina's hit goes down slightly, but that's fine. She's more of a magic dealer anyway, but it does buff her defense slightly. And it puts her Dio, I don't know what that is, dodge, I think, up, which is nice. Okay, yeah, I'm very happy with how that went, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to suck. I was reading what my guide said and listening to what my friend said. And I was like, oh man, this is going to be a whole video of just this boss. But, uh, but no. So this is the blue crystal. We finally found it. I guess so. It's so beautiful. I love this place. It's great. Hey, that's another crystal. You know what that means. It's time to celebrate. What is it with Sega and crystals? Might as well call them Chaos Emeralds. 
Actually, let's include Fina on this one. Uh, but what? I, I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. Just give it a try. Oh, God. <laughs> Yay. Ah, oh, bless him. The audacity of youth. You received the blue moon crystal. Excellent. Okay, well, I guess nothing left to do now but pop a save. I think we've got everything in here. Let me just check my notes. We did get the two chests. Uh, right, cham. We got the cham. We got the moonfish. Yep, yeah, we should be good to go. Cool. Let's get out of here. All right, dude. You ever want to head back? Uh, yeah, let, let's head back. We're going to be having turtle soup tonight as well, which actually sounds absolutely disgusting, but hey. We want to head back to Yafutoma for a little bit. Can you give us a lift? What do you mean for a little bit? I have no intention in coming back here. For a little bit, he says. Listen to the pools on him. Ah, oh, and that wonderful music again. Okay. Definitely happy with how that went. Imagine we get a pretty penny for that turtle shell. Right. Let's go. Now, there is a chest in here that I've missed, actually. Um, ass. Where was it? All right, dude. You, you winning yet? I got one. I got one. I got one. Don't talk to me now. I've got to land him this time. For fish that taste as good as sashimi. You have to go into the water. I'm gonna catch me a few and then have them for dinner tonight. Yeah, that's cool. You 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 have at it, mate. God, I I cannot express how much I hate seafood. I cannot stand it. I really can't stand the stuff. Just the smell, the look of it, it's just nah. With the exception of fried, deep fried battered cod from a chip shop and that's because well let's be fair it doesn't really taste like anything um especially after you slathered it with salt vinegar right now it looks like i can still get this chest i think there's a moonberry in there if i remember correctly right let's go have a little look Now we can go take the news of our glorious victory to the man in charge. Oh, actually, there's some people that will join us now, I believe. Okay, so this little back door here. She lets her, she lets us use her back door, which is very kind, and take her chest. 3,000 gold, okay. Oh no, we already got the moonberry, didn't we? Yes. Thanks for the money, love. Actually, uh, would you have on you? Well, my, my. What can I do for you? Let me have a little look at what you've got. Uh, no. I did wonder. Yeah, we're getting a little bit low on those. I did wonder if we could... It's expensive. It's not quite as expensive. Yeah, I did wonder if we could actually get those cool um, Valor things. Because that would be nice. 50% oh, chance to actually resurrect someone. That's so ass. Like, seriously. Alright, love. Take it easy. Yeah, we'll probably be back. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, this is the weapon guy, wasn't it? Maybe this guy sold something. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, we did get a treasure we can sell. That's the one. Oh, one of the three lost sacred figurines that Peter is looking for. Is it worth... Giving it to him. 
Chalice of Blood. Yeah. Oh, we've still got the Chalice of Blood. We can sell that. What else have we got? Ah. There's the other treasure. Oh, we made pretty much most of our money back, I guess. Anything else here valuable that we can sell? Uh, not really. Okay. Right, let's leave. Yeah, we're gonna come back. Don't you worry about it. And one second, guys. I need to reply to a message. And we're back. Right, okay, cool. So, ah, that ended up being a hell of a lot longer than I thought. Um, now, let's get out of here and go to the temple of the... What the hell is that? Dude. Okay. <laughs> What's with this bird? Uh, it looks tasty. This bird looks rather tasty, don't you think? <laughs> looks tasty, looks tasty. My goodness, it's mimicking you. Don't go teaching it any naughty words now, Vase. Um, I guess, I guess we, <laughs> we, we can't do anything else with it. Right, okay, um, let's go upstairs. Don't teach it any naughty words. Okay. Like my mum's parrot. Yeah, my mum's parrot knows a, <clears throat> a couple of choice phrases. You have done exceptionally well. No one in Yafutoma has seen the Megasphere since the days of the old world. You're the first to make it back alive from the depths of Mount Kazai. How can I repay you for risking your lives to recover it? Well, as we mentioned earlier, we we're wondering if it'd be alright if we borrowed it. Hmm. But it is the symbol of royalty succession. I would like to keep it in my possession at least while you remain in Yafutoma. Uh, sure. Symbol of royal succession, huh? That makes sense. Why they want to keep it. Uh, Mogi, your Lord Mi... Mi... Uh, Mi Kandu's daughter, right? So, does that make you the successor to the throne? Um... <laughs> well, yeah. Well, thank you for retrieving the Megasphere. Let's begin the preparations for the feast. Make yourselves at home and enjoy the festivities. All oh, right, that's more like it. I can't wait to taste the gourmet cooking of Yafutoma. We would be honoured. Uh, we would be honoured to join you, especially Aika. Ooh, princess. Hmm. Oh, there's some there's some voodoo going on there. You handed the blue moon crystal over to Lord. Yes, we did. Definitely won't be regretting that anytime soon. You must be very tired. You're welcome to stay at the Royal Guest House tonight. Thank you for escorting us. That was some of the best food I've ever had. And for some reason, I pictured those eating sticks to be much bigger. Took me a while to get used to them, though. Chopsticks. Very nice. I'm very happy you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, so the Westerners have do have a sense of taste after all. Uh, I came here to personally thank you for retrieving the Megasphere. I'll be sure to take good care of it when it's passed on to me as soon as Mogai and I are married. Oh. Oh dear. Well, he looks like a bit of a wimp, doesn't he? I will never marry you. So long as uh, Diego is alive, you'll never be king. Have you forgotten that Prince uh, Daigo has been exiled for treason? <laughs> I find it very unlikely that a traitor would ever become king. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, that's it. Huh? Enrique. I don't know your motives, but this is not how a nobleman treats a lady. Oh, here we go. Stand back for Chad Thundercock. If you insist on insulting her, then you will have to deal with me. Alright, geez, save enough women for the rest of us. You think you can push me around just because you got the Megasphere back? I'm going to tell my father on you. Oh god, what a, what a pathetic excuse for a man. Prince Enrique, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm sorry you felt that you had to defend me like that. I didn't mean to put you in that position. No, no, that's quite all right. Where I come from, we have codes of honor on how a lady such as yourself should be treated. Yeah, well, uh, we've seen from your generals that uh, I think you're talking shit, mate, to be honest. Well, honestly, not many people follow that code anymore. Ah, okay, you have redeemed yourself. Prince Enrique. <clears throat> but Maraja spoke. Maraji? Maraja? Oh, who cares? Uh, spoke of an exiled prince. Do you know what he was talking about? <sighs> Silence. It, it's nothing. If you'll excuse me, I'll be returning to my quarters. Pleasant dreams. Oh, we know who Enrique is going to be dreaming about tonight. Okay, don't give me those eyes. <laughs> I love those two. They're so funny. Yeah. Yeah, we can read the room. Don't worry. Jesus, what a goblin. Those Westerners. They're paid for speaking to me like that. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Eek! Who? Who are you? Oh, dear. I heard everything. My name is... Oh, God. Belazar. Yeah, Bell. We're just going to call her Bell. And it appears that we have a common enemy. Hmm. So I guess she's probably going to be pretty pissed. Because last time we left her abandoned in the desert. Good morning, Vase. Did you rest well? Yeah, I slept like a rock. That was my first time sleeping on a floor mattress thing. <laughs> I see. I'm glad you were comfortable. Lord Mikado, there is an emergency. Black ships have surrounded the city, and what appears to be their flagship is attempting to dock in our harbour. Oh dear. What? Black ships? Oh no. It must be the Armada. Faze, let's hurry back to port. Uh oh. Father. Yes, yes, I know. No, treacherous dogs. Uh oh. This is bad. This is very bad. Looks like the Armada has actually turned up. Try and steal the blue moon crystal. Well, we shall soon see about that. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure. Let's check something a minute. I think. There's a chest we can get up here. Maybe we have to get it again later. Um, I'm sure there's a chest behind this temple or something. I read it in my notes uh, a while ago. But yeah, let's have a look. Is this it? Ah, hello. Ah, right, I'm guessing we need to get it a bit later. Maybe, question mark. Oh no, okay. we. Dude, how cool is this? And a save station as well. I'm sure there's a chest here somewhere. 
I don't have time to be just relaxing here. No, well, I guess we don't really. But we are going to have to save the game anyway because we're out of time. Again. That seems to keep happening to us, doesn't it? So, when we come back, guys, I guess we're going to go confront the uh, the gits outside. But that's going to have to wait till the next episode. I'm sure there's a chest here somewhere. So this is where we had the feast, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'll... Uh, read through my notes uh, off camera. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and as always, till next time.